Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Bob D. Maria with another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. Westlake, Ohio, Naples, Florida. Join us. We're doing our very best to assist everybody during these stressful times. Question number two, number one. Dr. Bob, what can I do or take to prevent a root canal? I need help in this matter. Now, there's a great book called It's All in Your Head by Dr. Hal Huggins. He's a dentist. He can go into great detail for you of exactly what you should and should not be doing. But what I've learned when it comes to dental health is usually a calcium phosphorus imbalance with too much phosphorus in relationship to calcium and it can literally erode the hard structure in your teeth. On the other hand, if you have too much calcium, it can result in tartar. And you have to make sure your oral hygiene is really good. We use a product ourselves personally called Agricept. I take 10 drops and four ounces of water every day. It helps manage the bacteria in your mouth. Great question. Dr. Bob, I got my eye floaters after a checkup they were shining the ophthalmoscope in my eye and I had some light sensitivity. The next morning I noticed floaters. From my experience, when I talk about floaters, it has to do with individuals that typically do not have enough vitamin A because your liver is the storehouse for vitamins A, D, E, and K. So when I talk to individuals and they say they have floaters, I recommend that they start eating at least one medium organic carrot every day. And over time, it's an important statement, if your floaters are caused by a lack of vitamin A, the carrots being a precursor food help assist that. There could be other reasons that you're having issues with the floaters. I'm not in a position really to talk about those. Last question, very good question, Dr. Bob. With all that's going on right now, what can I do for mental stress? I have anxiety, I've lost weight, and I cannot sleep. Very common. Well, the good news for you is very soon I'm going to be releasing a book called Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Mental Health. So stay tuned for that. On the interim, this is what happens with anxiety that I have learned from my experience. Individuals usually need vitamin B1 or thiamine. We have a chart in the book that talks about anxiety versus depression. Now, the other question was with not being able to sleep. And I understand that because your nervous system is going 100 miles an hour. Minerals are very, very important because when you're under stress, your body cannibalizes minerals. I make a recommendation here. We have a couple products that are on our website. One is called Bioimmunizyme Forte. You may have you and your family take one or two every day through this season and or something called BioMulti Plus. That's going to support your overall body systems. Consider some Celtic sea salt, great source of minerals. And lastly, we use something called l Izyme Forte. It's a plant-based lithium. Lithium is a trace mineral. And when it's inside of your intestine, it helps create brain transmitters that'll help calm you, especially if you need severe, severe mental stress, you can take literally up to one or two every hour. Next point, loneliness. I know that we've had people talk about being lonely. We have, um, my wife and I have a, a neighbor of ours right now. She's by herself. She's an elderly woman and we take her mail out. We'll work her with her trash. We're here and we're available to her. We have another neighbor that has lost weight because of anxiety. A lot of times, these people just want to talk. So this is just a really good time to actually be a neighbor for somebody. And for those of you that haven't seen your family, you know, there's so many electronic ways that you could talk to them, just hearing their voice. Do what you can to be socially connected through our media. Great questions. I'm Dr. Bob DeMaria.